The game starts very simply, with each hero being placed on any of the starting spots. Each player then rolls a dice, and the player with the highest number starts. Navigating the board is where the real strategy of the game starts to take shape. Each player can choose their own path based on the amount they roll each turn. Players can go in any direction but backwards. This is where the real layers of deception and strategy really start to take shape. There are three main shifting plates on the ship. The yellow area, the blue area, and the red area. These can be shifted by each hero right before they roll the dice off their next turn using one of the playing cards. Each player starts with playing cards and they can receive more when their hero steps on certain positions on the ship and when they're attacked by Isran. Each play card is different and controls different shifting plates on the ship, making these plates go in different directions left or right. For example, if a hero plays a yellow left 3 card, the yellow board will shift 3 possessions left. If the hero played a right blue 1 card, the blue board would shift 1 position right. These play cards are what enable a hero to reach the bridge of the ship and also help or hinder his opponent's quest to the bridge also. The enemy, which are the Isram, run free all over the ship and once the hero is captured they will pick up a battle card which will give them instructions on how to fight the Isram. This is when the battle begins and the hero will need to roll dice which will direct them to certain holding areas on the board till their next turn. This can either be a setback or at times it can be an advantage based on the outcome of the battle and the position of the shifting plates of the ship. The game will finish when a hero outwits and outplays all his opponents and reaches the bridge first of the ship. The game concept is very simple, but as you continue to play it, you learn that there's very deep levels of strategy. Each player needs to anticipate their opponent's next move and make it difficult for them to reach the bridge of the ship, all while trying to successfully reach the bridge themselves. This allows for crazy moves where opponents may be bluffing while anticipating their opponent's next move. The games of fun and can last for as little as one minute all the way up to an hour. Every game is different as all the rotation boards can start at different positions. This adds another level where even the most experienced player isn't at an advantage for knowing the simple path of the ship. Mayship Battle is a simple game and fun for all ages, all experience, and those who want to have fun while trying to outskill their opponent.